Everybody, welcome back. My name is Yumble, and I'm here today to talk to you about Network Multi-Tool, a brand new mod for City Skylines. It seems like every few months or so, a new mod comes out that changes the game in a, in a really big or fundamental way, and this is actually one of those mods, in my opinion. Um, I, are, I can already think of about a dozen ways I'm going to be able to use this mod in my city, and I think you'll be able to find a few ways as well. Uh, I'm going to show you some different uses and different techniques and what all the buttons do. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. The mod is Network Multi-Tool. So a network is any sort of path-based object in, in City Skylines. And when I say path-based, I'm talking about roads, which is primarily what I'm going to be showing today. But the name is Network Multi-Tool, so it also works on other networks, like key walls or, or fences or train tracks, or paths, any sort of network built into the game. Anything that looks like this when you're drawing it is a network effectively, and this will work on all of them. But focusing on roads today, I'm just gonna build a couple roads at different, uh, different angles just for fun, and a couple different heights as well, and we'll just kinda see what comes of it. Maybe a different height over there. Sure, whatever, we got a bunch of networks down. Now let's go into the mod itself. It's kept here in Unified UI, so I recommend getting Unified UI. It'll organize a couple of different mods that I like into one button, just to keep things uncluttered. But the, the symbol here for Network Multi-Tool is a Swiss Army Knife. That's what we call that in the US. Um, these are the different options. So there's eight different buttons, and I would say there's two different categories. The top six are for affecting existing networks, really, and the bottom two can actually synthesize different curves and different connections. And I think that's really, really cool. So let's start with the top two. I've seen this in other mods. The bottom two I've never seen in any mod, but the top two I've seen in, in another mod, which means I can probably get rid of that mod. But the first button is add node. Um, once you've selected add node, you can go in, and if you see a red area, it means there's already a node there. The green means that you can add a node there. I can add a couple in, and using move it, you can see I've added a couple little short segments in there. If I wanna get rid of that, I can use the next tool, which is the subtract node, sorry, remove node mode. We'll go with that. And I can just go down and see where the close ones are. Do, do, do that one looks good. Oh, that one's kind of close. Um, yeah, something like that. And that got rid of the nodes that I added, roughly speaking. So that's good if you want to manipulate where cars change lanes or where, just where the node is, period, where the, where the road connections happen. So that's easy enough. Now going down the list, Union nodes mode. I would say that union nodes brings nodes together. And what I say when I what I mean when I say that is if you hit union nodes, um, there's no undo feature built into this. So consider anything you do to be permanent. As far as there's no Control Z option to to undo what you've done. So proceed with caution, or just know that you might have to redraw a road if you if you botch it. But union, uh, what is it? Union node mode. You can click uh, click one node and then click a node you want to connect that to, and it'll automatically swing that node over to the other one. There's no undo, so you'd have to delete that. Um, but that's handy if you if you came up just short in a situation and you want to uh, you want to ensure that one network connects to another network. That's a great way to do that. The next one is intersect segments mode, and this one works like this. If you I I can see this segment here and I'm gonna turn on Anarchy so I can draw a second segment. So I'm using Fine Road Anarchy in conjunction with this. And I've drawn another network that's overlapping and it doesn't really make sense, but maybe it took a lot of work to get to this point and you're like, oh, I wish I, I, wish I drew them together there. This will actually combine them, this intersecting segments button. It'll allow you to click both segments. No, I can't, I can't click it. Why not? Here, one second. I'm gonna draw this one more time and try to discover why. It says end of segment is too close to other segment. So this one and this one, oh good. Okay, cool, and just by clicking it does it. I don't have an explanation for that for that first one not working, but in theory, you should be able to overlap segments and get this done, you know, at any, uh, in almost any situation. As long as you're not trying to overlap a node with another node, I think this works fine. There we go. You don't even have to hit enter. Just by clicking, it'll automatically create that junction there. Easy enough. I'm going to go down the list, and uh, I, I think the next one is slope, if I'm not mistaken. 
let me get zoning adjuster out of here. I'm gonna turn off the roads. So if we do uh, if we do slope, this is the same but different when compared to move it. I would say so move it is is really good at adjusting objects on a plane over distance, and you can do nodes. You can use move it to adjust the slope of anything relative to anything else, give or take. Uh, let's say let's say that this road were grounded in theory you know let's let's put this one all the way down to ground really cool you know give or take if i wanted to slope this i could certainly use move it and go all the way across select all the nodes uh, go down here and hit slope objects that's totally cool so that's almost identical to the way that that the slope feature works in this mod but in a situation an alternate situation where maybe you want to do a corkscrew Move it does not do so well with, with corkscrews, unfortunately. As amazing as it is for virtually everything else, not so good for corkscrews. So let's say we want this to, to go down. I could build this a lot prettier, but I think this will get the point across. So let's say we're just, we're looping it to ground and that's a bit messy, but it'll work for my purposes. If I take move it and try to do the same thing, it's actually going to flatten it out kind of awkwardly. I'm gonna hit slope objects here. That's, that's not really what I wanted. You know, what I wanted was a continuous slope down to ground. That's not happening. So what we can do instead, no slight to move it, but this is gonna work on networks a little bit more effectively. So set slope mode, click all of the nodes, just like you would with move it, which many of you will already be familiar with. And you can set it to percentages or degrees, depending on what you wanna see, you know, to, to analyze the grade of the road. And hit enter, and it automatically will uh, distinctly from from move it it'll automatically trace the network and decide where even transitions lie so we've got a we've got a perfectly even grade uh, if you're going to ground it may it may mess up and flatten out at which case I would say take node controller click it hit slope and that'll that'll finalize it if you transition to different types of roads those will default to a flat node you can use node controller a different mod within the unified UI family to slope that if you need to but I think that's beautiful. If you're trying to do stuff with networks, um, network multi-tool is going to be much more effective than move it if they're if they're going in a corkscrew or a circle pattern. So going down the list, we've also got a range at line. This one's kind of unique, and I'm not sure how I'm going to use it just yet. But let's say you want to line up a bunch of nodes, or more accurately, probably, let's say you want to curve a series of connected nodes. So let's say I want to convert this whole, I want to rearrange this kind of octagon looking shape, this partial octagon I've got going on. If I take the arrange nodes, uh, arrange at line mode, I can start wherever I want and it'll begin a curve for me. So maybe we'll start here. I'm just gonna select all the nodes in between. I'm not sure what would happen if you skipped a node. You'd have to want that result, but I've selected a, a few of the nodes where I want the curve to occur, hit enter, and then it automatically rearranges them into a, into a curve based on the kind of the trajectory of the starting point and the trajectory of the end point. It always wants it to start straight coming off of it. So there's no awkward jagged angle. So that's, that's what that does. If you select all of the nodes with that, just to, just to show you the difference here, arrange at line mode, if I selected this entire thing, as the name implies, guess what it's gonna do? You have like five seconds to guess what it's gonna do. What are you gonna, take a mental note. What's gonna happen? And hit enter. Look at that, it arranged at a line. I've found that sometimes it's a bit quirky. Like this, the entire network was removed. Uh, a, a way to fix this, Maybe this will be fixed in a future update, but like if you kind of move something over it, it resets the texture. So it's not that big a deal. Or if you draw a new road over it, it'll fix it. But yeah, kind of a cosmetic quirk. Maybe it'll get fixed in the future, but I, I think it's still worth using even with the quirkiness. I think it's great. Delete that road. So now we're down to the bottom two, and these two are the most exciting in my opinion, uh, because I've never seen anything like it. All the others can be you can kind of use either electrics road tools or or move it or you know some other stuff to accomplish some of these things but these are totally new to me so create loop check this out this is this is absolutely brilliant in my interchange exploits i find myself making a lot of loops and this is just incredible 
So this automatically determined the curve. There are no, uh, there's no awkwardness here at all. It's a perfect curve. I drew these roads at random angles at a random interval, and this automatically mathematically determines how far to extend one of the roads and then how to curve that road, automatically adding the segments in. If you want it to curve the other way though, let's say you want the loop to loop in the opposite direction, hit the tab button. In this situation, I wouldn't necessarily do it, but if you hit the tab button, it makes the loop go right instead of left or vice versa, right? So you can loop it back. If you hit the plus and minus buttons, you'll actually get some options for refining the loop, which is amazing. Just crazy. It depends. Cars will obviously go slower over more refined loops, but there's all kinds of reasons why you'd want to refine the loop. Um, you can also hold control to change the increment. Uh, I'm using plus and minus. I don't know if I made that clear, but if you hold control, it does it in, in fractional amounts. Instead of in 10 meter jumps, you can do it in one meter jumps, which is amazing. Or shift does it in times 10 jumps. So what is it? The, de the default is 10 meters. Control does one meter. Shift probably does 100 meters, I'm betting. But we're maxing out the amount on this curve. Uh, but that's just amazing. It's, it's awesome. And you can use that anywhere. I think that's infinitely... Uh, infinitely useful. Just just crazy. Crazy, it's beautiful. It, it brings it in, it automatically lines it up, uh, or rather it brings it to a point where it knows it can curve evenly, and hit tab to uh, adjust that. Tab doesn't make sense in this situation. So tab won't always invert the uh, the circle, or the loop, because why, why would it in this situation? There's no opposite. But I think that's phenomenal. I think plus and minus will still work here. That's great. If you hold shift plus, yep, shift plus and minus are 100 meters, control for one meter, no modifier for 10 meter increments. Just incredible. Uh, hit enter to create that. And obviously you can go in and, and um, you know, make some adjustments as necessary. Elevate using fine road tools as you see fit. If you've ever used uh, Find Road Tools in the past, you can elevate roads. Separate mod, Find Road Tools, Find Road Anarchy. But aesthetically, that's that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Now, the last one is, is totally different. I probably could have told you, if you asked me point blank, hey, Yumble, do you want a create loop button? I would go, yeah, I, want, I love that. That's really cool. If you asked me, hey, Yumble, do you want do you want a th a button to connect whatever you want? I wouldn't fully understand what that means, but that's what this is. Create connection mode is brilliant. So let's say I want to connect this end to this end. I've selected them backwards, but it's okay. This goes for any of the the creating mods, so the la the creating buttons. So the last two, you can decide which end this starts at. Check it out. <laughs> It's so good. I'm like giddy about this. I'm like a child on uh, on Christmas or something. It's fantastic. So pick the correct sides of the correct segments. It does the curve, uh, both curves for you connected by a straight segment, which is fantastic. And the same rules apply. Plus and minus to change the radius of those curves. But this one has a little extra, you can see in the tool tip here, the, the create connection mode, um, choose nodes. We already did that press plus and minus, we already did that. If you hit tab, you can actually change which is selected. So this radius up here or this radius down here by tabbing back and forth. And then you can use the brackets buttons by default or the modifier for that. So if you wanna change one radius and then the other one to decide which one is a larger loop or what have you, or plus and minus in theory changes them both. Yep, it does. With the same rules applied, control, and shift will also change the increment that you're modifying it at. And then hit enter to finish. Incredible. Just just awesome. I had elevated turned on, which was, was a mistake, but awesome. And you can do that with any network. I've tried it with a, with a series of networks. It hasn't, <laughs> I, I haven't seen any major errors other than that graphical glitch. Uh, but Max Sergey is fantastic. He's very responsive. Feel free to join his Discord if you want to get more information on the mods or if you have any question.
But that's Network Multi-Tool. If I've forgotten anything, please let me know. This is also the first version that's being released, and I am, I'm very excited. Thank you for letting me tell you about this. Uh, I can't wait to use this in my city, in my interchanges, all of the above. Let me know in the comments what you think. Feel free to follow me on Twitch. I stream twice a week. Feel free to follow me on Discord. Uh, actually, we have a Discord you can join if you want to post pictures of your city. Uh, also, feel free to follow on Twitch, Instagram, and of course, subscribe here on YouTube. Everybody, thank you for watching. I've been Yumble. I'll see you in the next stream or the next video.